Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica, and today is Friday, May 17th, I believe it's May 17th, but yeah, it's a little later in the day, I think it's almost 3 o'clock, as you can see, I am still in my pajamas, hair is a total mess, no makeup on, yesterday we took my son to Disneyland for his first time, so we're kind of just relaxing for today not really doing much he is down for a nap right now so i thought i'd go ahead and film a little bit at least what i can for right now um if you haven't seen my vlog for his first trip to disneyland i will link that in the description box down below definitely check it out but like i had mentioned in that vlog his six month mark has been one full of changes for us and this is one of them. We are going to be transferring him from our room to his bedroom today. Um, it is time, not so much because we want him out of the room, more because he no longer fits in his um, cradle. So my husband and I are a little sad about that. We have gotten used to him being in the room with us. We still would like to have him in the room just because we still feel he is very little but like I said he no longer fits in his cradle he has grown so much since the day we brought him home and I will go ahead and be inserting a picture probably around here of the first day he slept in his cradle and obviously the last night that he slept in in it so very big things happening in our house for our little one just kind of wanted to come on here, vlog the whole experience, see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Um, what I have been doing with him is putting him down in his crib for naps, and he has been doing very well with it. So I'm hoping the transition to a whole night's sleep will go really well. But I also wanted to come on here and kind of show you the setup that we have before we go ahead and transfer him over so you can see kind of what we were working with while he was in the room with us. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the setup that we currently have right now in our bedroom. And then I'll be showing you, obviously, his bedroom. Okay, guys, so this is our bedroom. It's our bed, obviously, dresser. Um, and we actually have a pretty good size room. This right here is actually where my vanity used to be, but, excuse my nail, but... I have so much clothes that it does not fit in the closet, so my grandma actually gifted this to me so I could go ahead and have more space for my clothes. So my vanity used to be there. I now have a setup in the living room for um, beauty related videos. So if you're a mama who loves makeup, anything beauty related, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post beauty related videos. I am going to try to be a little bit more consistent on those, but yeah. Well, this is just one container, storage, whatever unit of makeup. I have so much more. It's out in the living room. We have his diaper can right here, which I absolutely love. It has been a lifesaver. This item right here is was actually on my registry, so thank you very much for the person who did purchase that for us. And this is where, as you can see, I have all his diapers. Because for the first couple of months, I wanted to make it as easy as possible. That way I can go ahead and rest up, recover, and not have to worry about going into his actual nursery. So diapers right here. And then I have this diaper caddy, which for whenever I wanted to go out to the living room to do playtime with him or whatever, just pick this up and go. Just pack a couple of diapers in here. So I absolutely love this. This would be definitely one of my must-haves along with this storage compartment. And since I am a breastfeeding mama, this compartment right here was all for me. Any extra pump parts for when I would pump in the middle of the night, nursing pads. Um, I would even have a couple of snacks in there. I don't do it so much anymore because um, I actually pump in the living room now while he sleeps in here. Since he was about a month and a half, he would actually sleep about seven hours. So he would pretty much sleep through the night. So it, I just found it easier to just go ahead and relax, maybe watch some TV or have the light on while I pumped, and then I would just come in here. And here's where I would have all his sleepers, um, under shirts, like the onesies, and then when he was um, little, when we brought him home, he was he's actually a preemie, so he came a month early, so I had all his clothes in here. 
And then down here I have any extra sheets for like the crib, blankets, his little pillow right there for his head. And then of course any dirty clothes are right in here. So this is going to go in his bedroom next to his crib and it's not going to have the same setup. He has a dresser in there for all his clothes. I am going to be getting a hamper for the bedroom. Um, so this is, like I said, going to go by his crib and it's actually going to be storage for his toys. So this definitely is going to be working for us outside of the newborn stage. And then right over here, right next to me, let's sleep right there, obviously, right next to me is his cradle. So we didn't have the bassinets that you see these days, like the halo bassinet or anything like that. This was actually gifted to us by my Nina. And it's more like a cradle. It does rock. It has the latches down here so it doesn't move. And we actually have these blankets here because the mattress here is a little hard and he didn't like it and he would wake up a lot during the night. So we just put that there to kind of soften it up. He sleeps so well in this, but like I said, he just really does not fit in here anymore. So we are going to go ahead and transfer him. Um, so yeah, that's the setup we've been having for the past six months and partly why I didn't want to go ahead and transfer him into the crib yet was because one, he is a bit of a crazy sleeper, so I needed to go ahead and pick up this, uh, what is this, a breathable mesh crib liner, that way he doesn't get his legs or arms stuck in between the bars. And because I am that paranoid mama who is always making sure that he's breathing, that he's not too hot, that he's not too cold, um, I needed to get a baby monitor. And this actually came in today, so that is why we are going to do the transferring him into his crib today. Hopefully, this shouldn't be too difficult to set up. Both of these items I did purchase from Bye Bye Baby, so I will go ahead and link them both down in the description box below. Um, but yeah, my son just woke up from his nap, so I'm going to go ahead and just take care of him. And then once he's fed, I'll go ahead and set this up, let you guys see. I'll even go ahead and show you what his nursery actually looks like. It's not anything crazy or set up to the way that I would have wanted it to, simply because, like I said, he is a preemie so he came a full month early. So I didn't really get a chance to finish up his nursery. And... I mean, I've just been so busy with him and so many other things that I haven't really had the chance to just kind of finish it up, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and show you the whole setup of this once I take care of him. And then once it's time for bedtime, we'll go ahead and vlog that as well, and we'll check in with you guys the next day to see how it all went, if he slept through the night, um, and all of that. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit to show you his room. Okay guys, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and show you kind of the setup of his actual nursery. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So this is the overview of the room. For those of you who don't know, I do have a stepson. His name is Mason and he is six years old. So they do share the nursery. Right over here, we have kind of their little library set up here. I purchased this off of Amazon. Um, I love it, although I, I thought it was actually going to be a little bit bigger than this, but I still love it. I've got my little rocker here that my mom got for me. And then over here we have Mason's bed. As you can tell, he is obsessed with cars. <laughs> this blanket here was gifted to him by my grandma. She actually made this herself. And let me see, she actually has a little tag. So that is my grandma and she gave that to him because she said every grandchild, great grandchild needs to have one so since he is family he got one. This is his little nightstand with his action figures. We are getting him into superheroes so that's a lot of fun. And then right here we have um, Hunter's changing table and dresser. Um, I have to go ahead and reorganize everything because he's grown out of so much stuff. So, just all his clothes and everything like that. This area right here is where I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the diaper pail here. I don't like the fact that it's so close to the crib, but I kind of don't really know where else to put it. Of course, little changing supplies here. This right here is his crib. I absolutely love it. 
obviously when we put them into bed we're gonna take these off I'm even gonna take those off because I don't need them to fall during the night this again this was made by my grandma for him the bedding we got from Target I believe it's the cloud nine brand as well as the mobile I absolutely I love this thing it's so cute and then of course we got little basket here with extra blankets um, receiving blankets swaddles all that and then this space right here is where I'm gonna put the organizer that I have in my bedroom where I stored all his stuff and then again like I said this is the monitor that I decided to go with um, it's from VTech I think it was $80 and then of course 20% off and then this is from the breathable baby brand and I believe it was $30 and again 20% off so I'm gonna go ahead and set this all up So as you can see, I set up the mesh liner. I actually really like it. It's, it's a really nice material. The only thing is I wish it was a little bit more see-through so that I could see him a little bit better through the mesh lining, but not a big problem. I do have the monitor, so I'm gonna see him regardless. It came with two of these um, mesh liners, obviously to go all the way around the crib but since I have this in the back I didn't feel it was necessary to just go ahead and put the other one on. Um, it left one bar open on each side and then of course that gap for the board in the back. Um, I highly doubt he's gonna get stuck in there. I hope he doesn't get stuck in there. Knock on wood now that I said that. But I think this is sufficient enough. So I actually really do like it. I do recommend it. So this is great. Fit, to me it fits perfectly so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and set up the monitor now okay guys so I just finished setting up the monitor I swear I don't even think it took me two minutes to set up it was very easy um, it's got two of these power cords right here so obviously one to plug into the camera that's right here so it plugs into the wall back here and it has these velcro ties so if the distance is shorter from the plug to wherever you're going to set it up you can go ahead and tie it up so it's not kind of like a little hazard and then this one is to go ahead and recharge the the parent monitor um, and really all I had to do was just plug that on, make sure it was on, turn this on, and it automatically synced, paired up on its own. And as you can see, that is my baby's crib right there. And then this one allows you to talk to them, so you would just push this button here. And then, I don't know if you can hear that echo or whatever. So I can talk to my baby while he's in the crib. And then you're able to zoom in as well, although I don't think I really need to. I feel like that is a really good view of my baby's crib. It has a little battery indicator here. It lets you know the temperature of the room. Yeah, volume. And then it also has night vision, so I'll be able to see him at night if, I, if and when I wake up in the middle of the night to check on him. So I don't actually have to come into his room, wake him up or whatever. So yeah, so far so good. I actually really like it. I like that this swivels so you can really set it up to however you like it or wherever you need it to go. It says it has a range of up to a thousand feet. Living room is not that far from his room. The bedrooms are right next to each other so there should be no problem whatsoever with that. So yeah, so far so good. It is now, it's almost 5.30. He doesn't go down to till around 9.30, 10, 10.30. So we'll just see how it goes. Obviously, I'll check in with you guys tonight once he goes to bed. That way we can go ahead and take a look 
on the monitor, see how, is he, how he's doing. And then of course, final check-in tomorrow morning when we come and get him when he wakes up. But yeah, again, I will list all the products in the description box down below. That way, if you guys would like to purchase any of these, you, it'll be easy to find for you guys. But yeah, see you guys in a bit. Say hi, Papachito. Hi. Say, I'm a big boy now, and I gotta go sleep in my big boy crib. I am so sad, like I wanna cry. I'm not ready for him to be in there. I just cleared out the cradle and the organizer from our bedroom. Um, I'm gonna have my husband take apart the cradle when he gets back home. Um, my stepson had a game today, so he's over there with him. I put the organizer in his room and I'm gonna start organizing it with his toys. But I'm just looking at that empty space. Let me see. That empty space by my bed and it's making me really sad. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna miss having him there, waking up in the morning, just looking to the side of me and seeing him there. I'm actually gonna insert a little video of him just like seeing me and I'm saying good morning and he's just there smiling and so happy. So I'm over here thinking like is he gonna miss that too? But you're so big now you don't fit. But yeah, so I'm just cuddling with him until it's time for bedtime because like I said, I'm not gonna see him there. I'm a big boy though, mama. I'd be okay. I'd be okay. Alright guys, I was just checking in. Had to share that little bit. But yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Say bye. Say bye. Yeah, say bye. Okay, I have officially put my son down to bed. It is 9.35 right now. So, yeah. Got him on the monitor here. Uh, so far, so good. The actual night vision actually is pretty good. Um, so I'm actually really happy with the monitor that I decided to go with. So... Yeah, let's see how the night goes. So that lasted only 30 minutes before somebody woke up crying. Papa. <laughs> 30 minutes, Papa. You only slept in there for 30 minutes. Do you know that you're supposed to spend the whole night in there tonight? Is that why you're acting up? It's okay. All right, we'll try again in a little bit, okay? <laughs> Look at that crazy hair. It looks like mommy's. Okay, so it's about to be 11 o'clock and he finally went down. A little baby. So he obviously could tell that that was a nut his bed and it broke my heart a little bit because as you guys saw he was crying and he was just not happy but I mean he just doesn't fit in his cradle anymore so he does have to get used to sleeping in his crib but hopefully that was the only time that he wakes up during this transition and hopefully tomorrow goes even better. I feel like I'm jinxing myself every time I say that he's like down and good to go. Cause he is, I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background crying. And I'm ready to cry myself because it's breaking my heart. Okay, he actually <clears throat> just soothed himself back to sleep so Looks like we're okay. Yeah. We'll see. 
He's like waking up every 15 minutes, putting himself back to sleep, waking up, like he's really struggling. And I'm struggling with the fact that he's struggling. <sighs> okay guys, so I am doing what I'm hoping is my last check-in of the night. It is 1.20, I just finished pumping and he has stayed asleep since the last time I checked in with you guys. So that is great. I think he is, you know, just so worn out and so tired that he's just done for the night. So fingers crossed, I don't have to talk to you guys again until tomorrow morning or later this morning actually. But I am going to go ahead and go to bed myself and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi, Papa Ethan. Hi. Hey. Good morning. Whoa, stretch, stretch, stretch. You're not stretching. <laughs> there you go. You're stretching. Hi. You mad at mommy because she made you sleep in this big bed by yourself? <laughs> she punished you, not me. It's her. Blame her. Stop it. Hi. Oh, hi. What are you doing? <coughs> I'm coming. <coughs> no, take it easy. Good morning, everyone. So it is the next day. We just got done nursing. <laughs> um. So, yeah. It is, I think, around 9 o'clock, so once he finally went down. So he did end up having a good night's sleep. He was waking up every 15 minutes. Um, I guess he could tell this is not where I sleep at night. My mom is not in here. But, yeah, he was waking, himself, he was waking up every 15 minutes, soothing himself back to sleep. There was, like, one or two times that he did go in and get him cassette. He was just crying a little bit more than I was comfortable with. Um, but he is actually pretty good at soothing himself. So he did put himself back to sleep. And then, like I said, I think around 12 was the last time that I checked in with you guys. Um, saying that he went to sleep. And after that, he didn't um, wake up. I, on the other hand, did not go to sleep right away. Even after I checked in with you guys saying that I was going to bed. Um, I just kept watching the monitor, but yeah, all in all, he did, I think, a pretty good job. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope tonight goes a lot better than last night did, but I think we pretty much got it. I'm sure it'll just get easier from here on out. So yeah, that is it for today's vlog, huh, Papa? But yeah. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know at what age you went ahead and transferred your baby into their own bed. If you did have your baby sleeping in your room with you. And yeah, let me also know what else you'd like to sleep, see on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh. Say bye, Papa. Say bye. See you guys next time. Yeah? Can you give them a smile? Yeah? Alright guys, see you guys next time.